All right, welcome back, boys and girls. What this video is covering is going to be covering the Unit 7 CRT preparation. This is part one. Unit 7 is a very large uh, unit, uh, so I divided it up into two separate uh, videos and two separate assignments, um, and we'll talk about these things individually. So this is part one. All right, what part one is uh, kind of specifically uh, talking about is um, it's – uh, talking about Z scores, Z scores. And again, we have a definition of what a Z score specifically is right here. It's the number of standard deviations away from the mean. Uh, so a quick, quick example of this is, let's say that the average is equal to um, eight. And we have a standard deviation equal to four. And so if I gave you a value of, uh, let's say, uh, 14, okay, 14, I noticed that the Z-score would be one and a half. How I know that is, is the number of standard deviations, a value is away from the average. So we see that eight going up to 14 goes up six. So how many standard deviations is that? Well, that's one and a half. So one and a half of these, so four, one and a half is six. All right, so I see that this value of 14 would have a Z score of one and a half because the value, 14, is one and a half standard deviations or away from the average, eight. And this sort of concept is uh, covered right here in uh, these two formulas right here. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we can cover uh, with these uh, these four examples here. Okay, the first one says the class average on a test is 72. So the average is 72. With the standard deviation of 8. A st student A scored 75. So that is an individual value. What is that student's Z-score? All right, so here the question is, what the heck is Z? So Z is equal to, I'm following the formula right up here, uh, X minus mu divided by sigma. So in that situation, that would be X minus mu divided by sigma. All right, um, so here we go. Uh, so that would be 75 minus 72 divided by 8, and this z-score would be 0 0.3. Eight. Again, Z scores go to two decimal places. So if you want to say 375, I really don't care. Just uh, that is what the Z score is 0 0.38 or 0 0.375. Wonderful. All right. Um, next, on average, there are four meatballs on a submarine salmon. So the average, on average, there are four meatballs on a sub. Uh, with a standard deviation of 0 0.75. So standard deviation, 0 0.75. A submarine sandwich was found with three meatballs on it. Okay, that's a value. Okay, 
what is its z-score? Okay, uh, so with that, um, we are again figuring out z. So z is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma So away we go. So x minus mu divided by sigma, negative 1.33. So what this is showing is z scores can be negative. And so what all that is indicating is this. If this is the average, okay, if this is the average, the average is 4. And we get this x value of 3, which is down here somewhere. Okay? It's down there somewhere. How many standard deviations away from the average is it? If the standard deviation is 0 0.75, well, it's 1 and a third below, thus the negative. So if it's a negative, that means it's below the average. Okay, that's what that means. All right, a tire lasts an average of 70, 47,250. Uh, Writing is awful, I apologize. Uh, with a standard deviation of 7,000. Okay. How many miles does a tire last? If the Z is 1.15. All right, so here we're not solving for z like we were in these previous two. Here we are asked what the heck is the actual value x. And so again, I go back up to these formulas up here and I see x is equal to z sigma plus mu. And so in that situation, um, let's see if I can type this. That'd be Z uh, times, that's times sigma plus mu. All right, that is Z sigma plus mu. All right, so let's just go ahead and do it here. So we have Z times sigma plus mu. And so what we see here is uh, that the higher this specific tire, if these are the stipulations, lasts 55,300 miles. That's, that's how long it should be last. This specific tire should last. Okay, last but not least is this last one down here. It says, um, basketball, makes an av uh, basketball player makes on average 75% of her free throws, standard deviation, of nine percent particular players z score happens to be negative so this will be below the average negative 0.57 okay what were the what was the free throw percentage on that particular day all right so that is the question uh so again uh x is equal to Z sigma plus mu. Uh, so I will type it again. Make it easy on us. Maybe, maybe you can recognize my handwriting here. Um, so this is going to be Z times 
sigma plus mu. That is z sigma plus mu, and that's going to be equal to x. And so this is equal to z sorry, negative 0.57 times 9 plus 75. And so this player in this particular practice shot 69.87% uh, on her free throw shots. So that is that. Um, take a quick glance. Yep, so all of this is dealing, this is the assignment, this is the assignment itself. So this is what a lot of people are asking for. Hey, when are we actually doing assignments? How can I improve my grade? This is how you improve your grade, doing this assignment right here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so uh, please do your assignment. Um, and uh, I will be glad to uh, improve some of your grades. So these are how you do these. All right. Have a good day, everybody.